everybody, what is going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. A while ago, I made a video called the Dollar Store Lure Making Challenge. It was basically where I went to the dollar store, I bought five random items, and then me and my brother Rodney competed to see who could build the most effective fishing lure with those items. That video did very well, and you guys really seem to love that idea. So today, we are doing another installment of that. But this time, instead of the dollar store, we are doing Walmart. I went to Walmart, and I picked up five random items again, and this time, my younger brother Isaiah will be battling me to see who can build the best fishing lure. Alrighty, guys, so the five items I got from Walmart are these little owl... Uh, charms right here, made of metal, little owls on them, cool colors, you might be able to build something with that. We also have some bling right here, some silver beads, we have a unicorn horn um, that attaches to the top of your head, and we have some yarn, we also have some painted feathers. These are the five items we're going to have to build our lures out of today. Alright Isaiah, your time starts now. You have 20 minutes to complete your lure. Good luck. Awesome. You Thank nervous? You. No. He's not even nervous. He's, he's chill, chill as a cucumber, or cool as a cucumber, however they say it. So, Isaiah, what are you building? So, uh, today I'm going to be using these charm, owl charms. I'm making a little spoon out of these. A little spoon, gotcha. Awesome. So, I'm going to use some wire, um, some swivels, and a uh, shovel. Should be pretty simple, straightforward. Let's, uh, let's give her a good try. So these already have a nice little um, hold. hold already, so I will be using that as my line tie. However, it does not have another, so I'm going to have to make do with what I got. And, uh, but I think I know what to do. What we're going to do is going to run this wire through that uh, my line tie. We're going to spin this around a couple times. Spin it. Spin it. We're spinning. We want this to be pretty tight because... As you remember, we're gonna have a bass on it, so we're gonna need to be tight. I'm gonna take this wire, run it down the back of the owl, and I'm gonna hot glue uh, that in, and then that's gonna go to my hook. So if this pops off anyhow, it'll still be on. We need to hot glue this thing. All right, you're stressed out. You gotta have your iced tea. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut this right here. Boom. I think I'm ready for chill hook. Now, we want that be right up against the body of them. So that's what we have so far. Not a bad looking bait. We're just gonna get a little more hot glue. Hot glue the um, rest of the wire in. Okay, that's that. And now for the swivel. You're not, you're not much of a swivel guy, are you, Isaiah? I hate swivels. But you're using one here. Yes, that's sad. I mean, I get I, I get why people have them, but I do not see them necessary. Really? We're almost done. So what have you made, Isaiah? I have just made a owl spoon. It looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it does. You think it'll catch fish? I'm pretty sure it will. All right, you want to you guess how much time he used up? I'm going to guess five minutes. Five minutes and 14 seconds. That was blazing fast. I don't know why we even gave you 20 minutes because you didn't even need it. I could have went with 10. You could have went with 10, yeah. All right, good job. Awesome. Now it's my turn. All right, guys, it is my turn to make a lure. And I got to say, I'm a little bit sad because I really wanted to make a spoon out of these little owls. I thought it was a great idea. But since Isaiah's already done it, it would be kind of cheating for me to make a lure like that. So I have to figure out what I'm going to make today. And frankly, my mind is blank. Your time starts now. Okay, well, what do we have at our disposal? We have beads, we got some bling bling, and this could be useful in making a lure. We have a unicorn horn. Does that, oh, you get like a little horn, see? So, you know, we may be able to do something with this. Actually, this is made of some pretty dense material. I'm wondering if I could make some sort of a jerk bait. With this, I'm gonna cut this unicorn head or this unicorn thingy. See what's inside it. Okay. So what's it is inside? basically just cloth filled with fluff, and I'm just left with this little sleeve right here, little unicorn sleeve. 
I was just looking at this and this is not going to work. It's going to take way too much time to make anything useful. I'm going to play it safe and just make a standard bass jig. I got plenty of things to make a bass jig with. And I'm going to do a take on a classic bass jig with these beads right here. A couple of years ago I made a video where I actually made a bass jig with beads. So that is what we are going to do today. These beads got a nice shiny vibrant color to them. I have a nice jig head right here that I scrounged out of my tackle box. That's legal. It's legal. We're allowed to use hooks. It doesn't really matter what kind of hook we use as long as we can use what is available to us here. So that is what we're going to do today and let's just get into it. I'm thinking I may be able to use some of this yarn. It's got kind of a cool, cool vibe going on to it. We've got some, some great color schemes. You know, we got pink and brown and white, which honestly is not my favorite. As a matter of fact, we can use this as our trailer because this stuff is really, really limber. It almost feels like a plastic worm. So we can use this as our trailer out the back to attract those fish. For the main body of the jig, I'm just going to go with standard beads. And I'm going to cut these into a bunch of different lengths here. There we go. I'm going to cut a bunch of these. I'm stressed, Isaiah. I'm stressed out. You got me all stressed out. I'm going to take the pliers and smash the first two beads off. So it gives me a little bit of string to be able to attach to my jig head because these beads are way too bulky to try to attach to the jig head. These things kind of explode. It's kind of fun. And I, I wish I had some thread here, but all I have is wire. Which I don't know why every time we do this challenge, we just have wire to use. And it's not very effective when you're making a, a jig. You need some good thread. Actually, I'm just going to stink and hot glue these things for crying out loud. Forget the wire. I'm going to hot glue these, these strands right on here. It's going to save me some time. A dab of hot glue. Put a little string on there. Let it dry. Kind of do that. Uh, it's falling off. That's good. Hot glue is really sturdy. Okay. Okay, this is kind of kind of working. I'm getting hot glue all over my fingers. That kind of looks like a jig, sort of. This is looking like a mess now. There's hot glue going everywhere and it's just great. Okay, now that I got all my components hot glued, and this looks like trash right now, but we'll clean it up a little bit. Um, now that I got all my components hot it looks, glued. It actually looks like something a bass would bite. A bass might bite that, yes, if he was drunk. I got this all temporarily fastened out with hot glue. I know it looks kind of crusty, but we're going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to grab some wire and just wrap it around there for extra support. Hopefully it won't break or anything. Okay, these look pretty good. I'm going to trim some of these beads back a bit. So they're kind of all the same size. I'm shaking like a leaf. I cannot oh believe it. Oh my goodness, Brendy. Too much caffeine. <laughs> it must be. I don't know. That's what mom tells me. Too much caffeine. There you go guys, that is the finished product. As you can see, a basic bass jig with the bead skirt and a little thingy out the back that hopefully will get the fish to bite. All right guys, it is time to find out who has made the best lure. And to do this, we're gonna go to a pond where each can have a fishing pole with our homemade lures. And the first person to catch a fish with their lure will win. Are you ready to go? Oh yeah. Let's go. All right guys, we are down at the pond. We got the whole squad here. We got, we got Isaiah, we got Lane, Charles is behind a bush. There he is. We got some helpers out here today. Let's get at it and see who can catch the first fish. On your mark, get set, go. All right guys, challenge is on. All right guys, we're out here. This bait is not the best. First thing I'm noticing about the water is that it is crystal clear and that's kind of a bummer because I have a very gaudy flashy bait on and these fish in here might be a little bit sk skittish when it comes to biting something that is super gaudy and flashy. It's also quite chilly out today. I'm hoping these fish will bite. Okay guys, we're just moving to our rock pile now and uh, hope we can get a hope we can get like a better chance. This is a very slow moving bait. I'm actually really, really excited about it. The water is extremely cold right now, so we're hoping, hoping, hoping a bass will wanna take a nibble at our baits. I'm just gonna fish this thing real fast, kinda popping it, to give it some flare. Kind of fish it like a swim jig. If you lose it, you lose it, okay? Just so you know that. Well, I mean, if you lose it, then I don't know what to tell you. Fish, fish. No. Oh, had him, had him, had him, had him. Had a bite right there, guys. 
It's a good hit. Got him. Fish. Oh, he came off. He came off. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, I'm so scared. How was he hitting? Now I'm nervous. Oh, got one. Yes! 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! I got one! Everybody's freaking out. That's a tiny fish, dude. My fish was bigger. Who cares? We got ourselves a bass here, folks. We caught a bass. I just had two of them on, and Isaiah catches the first fish, which technically yeah, makes you the, makes you the winner, eh? Technically, yes, it does. We should go round. We should go best out of best out of two. <laughs> what do you think? I'm good. I'm thinking to call it there. Cool. Feel it. Everybody was freaking out, losing their minds. I was sitting around the bush. <laughs> Charles was not freaking out. He was being chill. Literally chill because it's, it's cold out here. Oh. Hey guys. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. Woo! Boom! Well guys, there you go. That was the challenge. I had a ton of fun out here today. Isaiah smoked me and caught uh, the first fish. I had like two fish on uh, just before he caught his, but sadly I could not get a hook set on him. But his little spoon was able to deliver awesome results. Good job, Isaiah. You won fair thank and square. You. How you feeling? Great. He feels great. I feel great. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel right here and check out my last video down here. That's it. I can't think of what else to say. Bye. Okay, good. Go.